Okay, so this has been a while, but before I start the video, I have to say something. First of all, the video might not put a lot of effort into it. Second, it's been a while, and I don't like the story that I make in this What If series. So I might redo it sometime. But anyway, let's just continue the video. And the video might not make any sense. But anyway, let's just go. Adios. Okay, what if San was Isekai? So if I remember in the last part, Liz, no, San go with Elena and Liz to the village and they found the village was attacked by the ogres. San is using himself as the a decoy and Liz and Elena saved the villager. Liz has to found the villager go and help San. And after that, they hear the clap of someone. They see a person with a three horn. They was confused. And inside Sand Mine, the black dragon say, There's a Kijan. And Sand in his mind, a Kijan. And the dragon explained, a Kijan is a evolution of an ogre. And Sand say, Oh, he's that so. And Sand look at the, the Kijan and say, So, you're the leader of this people of the ogre am i right and the kitchen say yeah and i must congratulate you and thank you for killing my man and san and liz confused after hearing that and they ask what do you mean by that and the kitchen say you make my job more easier and border getting more confusing the Kijan put his hand to the air and, and say some word, an uh, enchantment and say was confused and then inside Sam's mind say it can't be the dragon was in shock and Sam noticed this and asked what is it? and the key, no, the black dragon say we have to stop him now and ask why and the, the dragon say just do it I will ask you later said uh, hearing that immediately pull his draw his sword and go at the Kijan to attack him the Kijan say it's too late and then a, a circle a circle with a weird ancient word coming out from the ground and Sen was pushing back and inside Sen Mai we are too late and Sen asked what is it and the dragon say the enchantment that he say is what a forbidden one and Sen asked what is that and then the corpse of all the ogres started to stand up back and walk to the kitchen. San and Liz were in short saying this. And the kitchen started to laugh and say, Haha, you shall see the true power of the god of Kijan. No, the god of an ogre. All of the ogres combined together, merging to the Kijan body. Is turning into a globe, but the globe started to stand up, making a shape of a man, a giant monster, and Sen asked, What the hell is going on, dragon? Let's just call I don't know if I give the dragon name or not, but let's just call him Drake for now. And Drake telling them, telling Sen the emergent. And Sen asked, what? The dragon explained, Emergent is a forbidden technique, technique that combines the body, a lot of body together to become more stronger. For that so one reason, it was forbidden. And Sen see, what the hell the spell is? 
Who the hell created that type of spell? And the creature don't say no. The dragon say don't know. But then they hear a laugh and they look at the kid to where they is. The Kijan take a form of something. Something menacing. The Kijan laugh at them and say, I must congratulate you for giving me this such power. For my gratitude, I shall kill you with. No, he said this, I shall kill you as quickly as possible. The Kijan summoned a fireball and throwing it at Set and Liz, Set and Liz jumped backward. But the gust of wind of the fireball pushing them further than they expected. Sensei, holy crap. And Sen looked at the Kijan, sent some a gaster blaster, fire at the Kijan. The gust blaster, someone hitting it, but someone hurting him, but then he started to regenerate. Sensei, oh, you got to be kidding me. And Sen, summon book, fire a bone at the Kijan, stabbing it, but the Kijan pulled it out and he started to regenerate and he started to laugh. The Kijan create a weapon from mid air. And go to hit Sen, Sen using shortcut to jump away from the attack. And see, what the hell going on? The dragon say, "Kid, you have to use your, you have to use that human form. It's more, if you use it, your power is amplified by two." And Sen say, "Yeah, I know, but it's kind of feel weird when fighting in the human form." And the dragon say, "Are you serious right now?" And then say, "Both of them is arguing in his mind." But then, the Kijan try to attack Sen. Sen don't notice that. But then there are there are barrier at Sen, and Sen notice that he immediately using shortcut and block and jump away from the attack. And Sen say, "A barrier." And then he look at Liz and say, "Be focus on the fight. Think something else later." And Sen say, "Okay." And Sen fighting with Liz with the no, Sen and Liz fight with the Kijin God or an Ogre God. And see what the hell is this guy? How is he so strong? And Liz create a destructive deck or break hmm, barrier slash. Hmm, let's just call barrier this. And throwing it at the kitchen, it's cut the kitchen arm off. But then there's someone like a string coming out. No, someone. If you guys see in when I was reincarnated in as a slime season one. About they fighting the orc lord. The orc lord have ability to retach his arm back or regenerate. I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched that part. But it's like that, and they say, "Oh come on, they're just cheating." The sensei, I have to use it now. But sen. But I have to say this something. If Sen want to change into a human, he have about ten second to stand still. He cannot move when he becoming a human. And Sen take that to change. But then the kid just try to attack Sen. But then Liz using barrier pushing Sen out of the way. But she still on the range of the attack. Liz put a smudge barrier from to block the attack. But the attack was stronger than before. The Kijan put a lot of force using the attack. And I don't remember if I say it was a swing of the sword or a fireball. 
Let's just say it was a swing of a sword. The barrel was shattered and it hit Liz. Liz was standing fly to the tree. Billy, no, the villager seeing it as well, as well as Elena and they were in shock. And then Liz was sending flying through about five tree and said seeing the and shout Liz and he fell to the ground and he in his mind said it's my fault I was too careless Damn it Damn it Sen fell to the ground on his knees the key just said started to laugh and said don't worry you shall meet him in afterlife and he swing his sword at sand but then there are contact but not with sand the sword was blocked by a bone and the kitchen look at sand sand was engulfing with a dark menacing aura and the kitchen say, What the? The villager and Elena sing this as well. And Sen look at the kitchen and shout, No, he say, You're gonna pay for what you did. Inside Sen's mind, before he was attacked by the kitchen, it's his fault. It's the same as when Elena. No, Lilith and Ellen mom were killed by the black dragon. It's my fault because I'm incompetent. Sen blaming himself for what happened. He getting mad and bad and frustrated at himself. The dragon seeing this and see something is changing. Sen is engulfed with a dark menacing aura. And then Sen look at the ogre and say, I gonna kill you. And then Sen aura starting to burst out. The aura manifesting to look like a freaking dragon. If you guys see Naruto and see Naruto 19 clock, just imagine that with a shape of the dragon. Or, hmm, nah, forget it. Not about the cloak of the dragon, about nine tail one. But anyway, Sand, look at the, no, the ogres. Or a kitchen. God damn it, why I forgot about this and why can I not speak quickly and normal? But anyway, Sand. Look at the kitchen and he vanished from his sight. The kitchen was in shock from where he is and then he feels something on his cheek and then he flies sending him to a mountain and the village that this day is close to a mountain. The kitchen swing his head getting after what happened and he looked to see sand with a dragon aura a aura that shaped like a dragon and he see what the hell is this and sand say i'm gonna kill you so you better prepare to die the kitchen was in shock and feel something he in his mind think is this fear no, how is this could be? I as strong as one of the heavenly king of the demon king. How? The dragon immediately go fire, use a largest fireball and fire at sand. But then sand throwing a fire, a blue fireball at him. And the kid was in shock. Sand then using of magic to attack the kitchen closing using the making a dash of the debris why I cannot speak right now 
and throw it at the Kijin. The Kijin tried to block it with his arm, but it hit him a lot. Then Sen summoned an ice spike. Throwing at the Kijin, the Kijin using a fireball to block the attack. And then there are a lot of mess and Sen using lightning magic and to paralyze the kitchen the kitchen see how can you use that magic and then kitchen look at Sen and Sen started to glow and turn into a human the villagers seeing it as well and they were in short to see a skeleton turning into a human and the kitchen see how can you turn into a human? And Sensei, of all questions you want to ask, you ask that, you such a fool. Sen then summon a dual blade. And the kitten as big as the beast titan in the attack on titan. And Sen walked to Kijin slowly and menacingly. The Kijin tried to attack Sen, but then Sen vanished. He on top of the Kijin hot hand and say, "You gonna feel this? Time for you, time for a pen for your sin." And Sen started to slash him with the blade, so he literally. And you guys must be wondering what Sen do. He literally do Levi thing on Zeke to the Kijen. But 10 times more brutal. But anyway, Sen, after done cutting him, the Kijen tried to stand up. The Kijen regenerate, but it was slow, and the Kijen feel the pain of what happened. And the kid just said, how? How is this possible? You should not be as strong as me! I should be one of the strongest beings right now! How? And Sensei, you too ar arrogant. Time for you to die. Cutting you is not an option. Then I have to disintegrate you into a nothingness. Sen put his hand forward and shout Die and then he summoned a Gaster Blaster but the Gaster Blaster is glowing with a red, orange, ye yellow, green, blue, purple, red and it go on and on and Sen shout Atomic Gaster Blaster and fire at the Kijen disintegrate him to nothingness and not only that the mountain having a large hole sorry about that if you hear what happened just then and anyway everyone in shock after seeing this they go walking in closer to see the Kijen is dead and I don't remember Sen level is about 35 or 30 Hmm Let's just say it was 35 And Sen gain about Hmm You know what? Let's just say Sen having a 30 level And Sen Gain 10 level after killing a Kijen god because in RPG game, the much you kill, the, the higher your level, the harder you get to, to level up. So Sen go, Sen getting, no, Sen now is 40 level and he walk. The villagers don't know where he is going, but they following him. They go to the forest. And they recognize this part. This is the part that this was sent. They walk and see Liz lying on a tree. 
one of her arm is almost ripped off. Only of his, only her flesh is attached to her body. One of her leg is gone. Her rib cage was broken. Her head was bleeding. She quite serious and sensitive it is my fault in his mind. The villager was horrified. The parent closed the children's eyes from seeing such horrified scene. And since it's my fault, it's my fault. The dragon seen this. He was quiet for a second, but then he's, he looked at least and see there might have a chance we can save her. And Sensei, what? And the dragon say, look, she's still a little bit breathing, but not for long. We have to do this quickly. And Sensei asked, what is it? And the dragon explained about it. And Sensei, are you sure about this? You will sacrifice yourself, you know? And the dragon say, I have been lived for so long. And I think about my what I have done and I feel regret of all of it. So this is somewhat like a redemption for what I did. Not fully, but at least this is what I can do for now. So please let me help. Sensei, farewell. Sen, go to Lace and put his hand on her and Cat uh, enchantment, and there a circle of light on Liz and sand. The villager and Elena seeing this, and they were in shock. Send look at Liz, and send somewhat blushing, because this the part that Dragon told him somewhat embarrassing for him. Send go to Liz and kiss her. And then, a black dragon, a figure of a black dragon coming out from sand, but then the dragon starting to glow, and his body turning into a light, and the dragon go inside Liz. Liz wound, it was healed, her arm attaching back to her, she started to grow a new leg. And they were in shock. And Sen look at Liz and smile and say, "Thank goodness." It's a few weeks after what happened. Let's go to someone's perspective. The person waking up in the morning and he look around to see he inside of a room, and she notices. Wait, what happened? And then he heard a door open and she looked to see Elena and Elena looked and shout Liz Elena go run to Liz and hug her and say I thought you will never wake up Thank goodness And Elena say No Liz say what happened and Liz just remember what happened and say The kitchen and the video, what happened? And Elena explained about Sen killing the kitchen and say, Really? And then Liz asked, Where is he? And Elena say, I will show you, but first wear this. Elena gave her a clothes and Liz wear that. And they walk outside to see the village is being repaired and they See, some of the villagers was was Barry who were killed, and sent, and they look to see the villager was repairing the gate and make a new gate a strong one. And Liz look to see a boy with a white hair, and he noticed that it was Sen, and she go and say Sen, and Sen say Ah, oh, Liz, you're awake. The video was happy after seeing her and 
the drag list as send no he has said if he can talk privately and send as sure no send say sure and list as what happened i thought i were dead back then and send explained about what happened and about he using one of the forbidden ritual and list as what send explained about he having a sort of dragon stuck with him for about three years three years is it yeah let's just say it was three years but anyway this no set explain about the, the dragon and about he using the sword of the dragon to to revive her back and let's see is that so and sensei and the dragon told me that you might have the power of him and you might be able to turn part of your body into a dragon and let's see what really let's look at her arm and then try to think of something a dragon claw and when he op no when she opened her arm turned into a dragon arm and say wow and sensei I hope you're liking it but anyway we should help the village and send as by the way do you remember anything and let's say no I don't remember anything after getting hit and sensei oh is that so <laughs> okay then and with Liz Liz remember something about seeing Sen kiss him no feeling Sen kissing him she was blushing for a moment then she smiled Sen don't notice this and she walk away and if you guys think oh my god it's still gonna be to be a sky hero genre and I must say yes it is because it's literally it's sky if you not expect that you are not a veteran whip at all but anyway i will end it right here i hope you like in the video if so please leave a like and i will see you next time see ya